guys, it's Kristen. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, I am in my third year of a Doctor of Physical Therapy program and I film videos here on my channel all about my journey in PT school. So it'd mean a lot to me if you could take a second and subscribe down below. If you didn't know, I recently started my acute care clinical rotation, which means I am in the hospital full time for the next 12 weeks and I just finished my second week. If you want to watch my first week, I did vlog. I will have it linked in a card above. Today I wanted to sit down and just kind of talk about what physical therapists do in the hospital because I feel like people don't know. Every time I tell them that I'm in a hospital for my rotation, they're kind of like, what? Like, that's a thing. Like, what do you do? I don't really understand. So I just wanted to sit down and educate y'all and let you know what a physical therapist does in the hospital. For my current rotation, I do work four 10-hour shifts, but I think most PTs in the hospital do work five eight-hour shifts. The hospital I'm at, there's six PTs, and I think only a handful of them do the 10-hour shifts. The rest of them do five eight-hour shifts, but it definitely is a lot more flexible of a schedule because you can do the four 10-hour shifts, you can work weekends. My clinical instructor was talking to me kind of about the PRN employees they have. Basically, that means as needed. There's like 20 PTs on that list and a month before, so it's September now. They'll send out the October schedule now to the PRN PTs. And if there's any kind of shifts that were not covered by the full-time staff, such as weekends or holidays or just random weekdays people are off, then they will have the opportunity to pick up those shifts. And it does pay super, super well. I personally am really liking the four 10-hour shifts because I don't mind being there an extra like two hours. Honestly, it flies by and today is a Friday and I have off and I have a long weekend. So I honestly prefer it. It has been so, so nice. But basically, when we arrive for the day, we go to the rehab office and all of the PTs, OTs, and speech therapists kind of go there to start out their day. It's like a little break room with all of these computers and a fridge and a microwave and all of that stuff. So I head on in. I put my lunch in the fridge and then I sit down at a computer. I do have a like student login to Epic which is the documentation system we use. So I log on in and I can see the patient list for the day and my clinical instructor basically at the beginning of the day we sit down and say these are the patients that are on his caseload that I'm going to be responsible for seeing for the day if that makes sense. So he'll be assigned anywhere from like eight to 12 patients per day, I would say, and those are on his list of patients to see. So we have to prioritize the initial evaluations. In the hospital, doctors will put in orders for PT evaluations, and you have 24 hours to complete that order. So we will log on, we will see which patients have eval orders, and we will go in time priority, that makes sense. So if there's a patient that needs to be seen by 10 a.m., we're gonna see them before the patient that needs to be seen by 1 p.m. to hit that 24 hour window, if that makes sense. So we kind of get our whole big list of patients, but then from there, we get to pick the schedule of who we're seeing when, prioritizing the evaluations. So every physical therapist will be different, but what me and my instructor do is we will chart review for like two or three patients, go treat them, document them, chart review for the next few, treat them, document them. Some of the therapists spend like an hour in the office reading up on every single patient and then go and treat every single patient. So it is really nice, kind of the flexibility. You can figure out what works for you, have some documentation breaks in there, or just knock all the treatments out in a row if that's what works best for you. And basically when you're chart reviewing, what you're doing is you're going in the patient's chart, obviously. You're looking at all of their recent kind of lab values, determining if they're safe for therapy, if their vital signs are kind of all over the place, if there are certain values, such as the hemoglobin, that are super low, it might not be safe to see the patient. So we kind of look at what's going on with the patient vital sign-wise. We look at the notes from nursing and from the doctors and from the OT speech, all of the notes, get an idea of what is going on, write little notes to ourselves, and then we head to the patient's floor. Before entering the room, we will chat with the nurses and make sure it's okay if we work with the patient. We are in the patient's room from anywhere from like 20 to 40 minutes usually. It is pretty quick, but we just check with the nurses and make sure they're not about to head to an MRI or something or anything like that. So we just make sure it's okay to go in. We enter the patient's room, 
we always always take their vital signs we take a brief history which pretty much is asking the patient how their level of function was before entering the hospital were they walking around independently did they need a cane did they need a walker etc etc we ask about their home setup and their bathroom setup and all of that because honestly the main job of a PT in the hospital is determining can that patient go home safely or do they need to go to a inpatient rehab facility, a subacute rehab, a nursing home, can they go home with home health assistance. Basically we're trying to determine the discharge setting so we need a sense of kind of what resources they have available, what support system they have, and what kind of equipment we can recommend for them so that insurance will cover it in our note. After we get the history, we do a basic upper and lower extremity screening of strength and range of motion. We check the sensation. We see how they move around in bed. Can they roll over independently? Can they sit up independently? Can they stand up independently? How is their balance? If they aren't connected to too many lines and tubes on the wall, we will walk them kind of up and down the hallway, see how their endurance is. If they are connected to a lot of things on the wall, we'll kind of march in place, sidestep up and down the bed, do mini squats, things like that. So that is kind of what the initial evaluation looks like. And from there, we decide if the patient, again, is going home or if we are recommending a setting for them. We will also consult with the OTs and the speech therapists. So we all are kind of on the same page for the patient and recommending the same setting. A lot of patients, we do only see the one time. If it is someone that is going to be in the hospital for like, multiple days or a week or two weeks, like with COVID or something, we will see the patient again for follow-up treatments. My hospital does have PT assistance, so honestly, they cover a lot of the treatments because we get so many evaluations. I would say most days, like, we see like five evals and then like two or three treatments. So it is mostly evals, and then if we do have extra time after the evals, we will go see the treatments. But evals definitely are more and more common. I really like acute care so far because I like all of the interaction with the other medical providers, like the nurses and the doctors and the OTs and the speech therapists. It's just a very cool environment where we can all learn from each other and where we can all help each other. And every hospital is different. I know some hospitals will have you like kind of on a certain floor, like you may only work with orthopedic patients. You might only work with stroke patients. Where I'm at now, we go all over the hospital, so it is a really, really big mix, which I do like. We do see a good amount of post-surgical patients, which has been so cool because we see them like an hour or two after they have surgery, which I didn't like think it would be that soon. I knew it was pretty immediate, like same day, but these patients, some of them are literally like in and out of anesthesia consciousness when we're like trying to talk to them and try to explain to them everything we're going to be doing. So I do enjoy working with the like post-surgical like total knee, total hip um, fracture patients and then we do work with like COVID patients, stroke patients that had a heart attack, people that have renal disease, heart failure. It really is just such a big spectrum of different conditions which is really cool. So I am learning so much every single day and it's more so like the medical side if that makes sense and not as much like the musculoskeletal orthopedic side of things so it is a big big change for my outpatient ortho rotation but it is super fun and I am really really enjoying it really just very flexible you're leaving work at the hospital there's a lot of time to document during the day so you're never having to document at home I don't think you can access the EMR at home I'm pretty sure you can't um, so you really get everything done at work and there's time built in to document which is super super nice if you have any specific questions at all please let me know in the comments down below and be sure to subscribe because i will be vlogging some more days and weeks of my hospital rotation coming up pretty soon here oh another thing i wanted to mention i am going to get to go in the NICU a few days because there is a physical therapist at my hospital that works in the NICU with the little babies so i'm gonna go with her for a few times and I'm so excited for that. I hope it is this upcoming week. I'll have to ask and find out when, but yeah. So many different different ways you can go with it, so it is super cool. But I wanted to thank you guys so much again for watching this video. Please be sure to subscribe if you enjoyed, like I said, and I will talk to you guys in my next video next week. Bye!